It's a very crowded market, okay? When it comes to Bluetooth speakers, there is a lot of choice. Sony historically has been up there when it comes to speakers, but can they compete in this market? Well, we're about to find out. Let's start with the design of these two speakers. You can see the 200 is obviously smaller than the 300. The first design thing that you'll notice is that the 200 does come with the strap, but they both feature this kind of pentagon shape, which is very, very unique because the majority of the speaker is actually this kind of rubber surface. While it is supposed to stand upright, you can have it sit horizontally as well, but I think for most purposes, it's meant to sit upright. You do see this kind of fabric that you would typically see on speaker grills. What's interesting about this is that's where the sound is coming out. So if you look at the speaker, the majority of it is kind of got this rubber and then you have this one slot over here and also on the top and the bottom where the music can come out. Kind of a strange design, you know? We live in this era of 360 degree speakers. You got like your UE booms and, and such. So it really doesn't matter. You just drop the speaker and the sound goes everywhere. These ones, it's really important about how you place the speaker because if you're behind it from this, this part right here, you're not gonna hear anything. And when I was testing this outside, I started to realize like, oh, Placement matters. Like it really, really determines. You have to strategically place this where you want to hear it, or you're not really going to hear it. And that that was a surprising design thing. And I'm going to have to look it up. If you guys like, I read about what Sony is doing, but when you listen to it, you're kind of like kind of confused. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a little confused why they did that because this is a very limited space. Now, in terms of the quality and the sound, it sounds great. You know, why don't I just let you hear it right now? So let's go ahead and I'm just going to go play some music. Now, here's the thing. If I play popular music, the YouTube algorithm is going to flag it. And when I try to upload the video, it's like, hey, you use this copyright music. So your boy here just happened to have produced a lot of music in my 20s. So some of the stuff you're hearing is like 15, 16 years old. But it allows me to play some music. So you could hear it without it getting flagged. So I'm just wanting you to hear what it sounds like um, so that you can kind of judge the profile. Because I found that this profile is very well balanced. It's got mediums, the mids, and the highs. The low, the mediums, and the highs are all nicely balanced. So it's not accentuating one over the other. But let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to play an old track of mine and see if you like the sound. So let's go. This is called Move Lyrics. I made this, geez, 2004, 2005. You can hear that brightness. Now let's kick in the bass. So you can hear right there, folks, it does have a very nice balanced sound. The 300 sounds very similar, just a little more oomph because it is a, the bigger version of the two. It is very crowded. Like I said, the, the, the Bluetooth market for portable speakers, you got your entry levels, you got the higher ends. I'm just wondering if Sony can compete. The thing is, and the thing I'm really learning about this is that when you are a fan of Sony speakers and you stay within that ecosystem, that's where things can really shine. Because what I did with these is it works with the Sony Music Center app. Inside that app, you compare speakers together to create essentially a multi-room speaker system. Now, at the time of this review, I had another Sony speaker, the XG300. So in total, I had three speakers. So what's your boy gonna do? Of course, I'm gonna pair them all together, create a multi-room speaker system, put it around my jump rope pad, put some of my own music on, and then jump to my own music. So why don't we go ahead and take a listen to that so you could hear how this speaker, this speaker, and the other one, the XG300 sound, when they're all combined together inside that Sony Music Center app. Let's cue that clip right now. <laughs>
So if you thought one Bluetooth speaker from Sony is good, just imagine when you have three of them all connected together, it becomes just an absolute amazing sound. I was like immersed in music while I was jumping rope. What an amazing uh, experience. I'm really glad I did that. Uh, it really kept me uh, on time when I, was, when I was jumping rope. In terms of these two, which one do I like better? I'm going to go with the XE200 for the simple reason that this is way more portable. I like the, the actual you know, build quality and the height of it. It's about the size of a water bottle. Not quite. These, the only thing, I'm, I'm still not 100% sure I like this design. I think I might prefer the 360 degree speakers for the simple reason that it doesn't matter. You just drop it, you play your music, and it sounds great no matter where you are. With this one, placement matters. It really, you have to strategically place it. When I was doing this outside, I had to make sure I placed it so that the camera could hear it and not myself hearing it because if I had it to the back, you wouldn't be able to hear anything. So... The sound quality is good. The the way that it sounds. However, you got to be strategic about where you place it. I do like that multi-room thing because if you had, say, a couple of these, you could use them inside your house, have one in your bathroom, one in your kitchen, one in your bedroom, listen to a podcast or walking around your house and the music or the podcast is everywhere you are. So then it comes to uh, summertime, you have to go to a party, you take them all because they're battery power, you grab them all again. Connect them inside the app, and now you have a multi-room speaker system outside. Your friends are going to be very, very impressed. So, Sony has got some very good sounding speakers. I'm a little hesitant about this design. I'm really curious what you guys think about this, this Pentagon design and these little slots where the music actually comes out. What do you think about it? I want to know in the comments. Anyways, folks. I hope you enjoyed this review of the XE200 and XE300 from Sony. These are their new portable Bluetooth speakers that work with the Music Center app. Again, you compare them together, create a multi-room speaker system. But I want to know, what do you think about this design? Do you Would you rather prefer a 360 degree speaker? Or do you think Sony's up to something with this Pentagon shape with the music coming out strategically on one side let me know in the comments anyways folks that's all the time we have for today my name is Andy Barrar handy Andy get more information on my website handyandymedia.com Andy Barrar handy Andy signing out see you again next time